Good morning, children. Pastor Steve here. It's a beautiful blue sky day this morning, and I hope you enjoy the day. We are continuing our journey to Jerusalem, and so far we've been to Caesarea Philippi, just a little north of the Sea of Galilee, and then Jesus took Peter and James and John up Mount Hermon, the biggest mountain in the Middle East, 9,000 feet, and suddenly they saw him dressed in dazzling white, and Moses was to his right, and Elijah was to his left. Then they came back down the mountain, and in the valley there was a father who had brought his sick boy to be healed. And now we're making our way southward. Jesus is south of the Sea of Galilee, and he's crossed the Jordan River. And he encounters this young man who came up to him, and this is recorded in Matthew, Mark, and Luke's Gospels, all three of the Gospels. And the young man says, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, uh, well, you must keep the commandments. Do you know the, the Ten Commandments? Ask your parents about the Ten Commandments today. See if you can memorize all ten of them. So Jesus asked him, if you keep the commandments. And the young man says, good teacher, I have kept all of these since I was a boy. Now, I'm not sure that he never broke one of the Ten Commandments. But Jesus went on and Jesus said, well, what you need to do, because that's what the man asked. He said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, what you need to do is sell all that you have now we learn later that the man had many, many possessions. And Jesus tells the man, sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have riches in heaven and then come, follow me. And the Bible says, the young man went away sorrowful. He was sad. And then Jesus began to teach his disciples. So sometimes all the stuff we have keeps us from following Jesus. Sometimes it interferes with our lives. It becomes a burden, and we have too much stuff. I remember when I was a boy, I had this cubby in my bedroom uh, where I could keep all of my toys, and eventually... It wasn't big enough for everything, and so my father built shelves, and that wasn't enough. And then when I got older, I started reading books like the Hardy Boys. So my father built bookshelves, and I still didn't have enough room, so my father built a toy box down in the family room, and eventually that was full. And then it was time to get rid of some stuff. And maybe you have too much stuff, too. Do you have a toy that you don't need anymore, a toy that you used when you were little, but you haven't used it in years. You're just holding on to it, but you'll never use it again because you've grown up and you have different ways to play and learn now. So maybe you can do the same thing Jesus told the young man to do. Give away some of your stuff. Give it to the poor who need it. And then you'll be freer to follow Jesus because you're not going to be carrying all this stuff around. Sometimes we, uh, we, we try to keep a hold of too much stuff and I'm trying to get a cookie out of this pitcher and I, my hand's stuck. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to take so many cookies out. Let me try that. Oh, yeah, if I only take one cookie at a time, my hand doesn't get stuck in the jar. Has your hand ever got stuck in the cookie jar because you had a fistful of cookies and your hand wouldn't fit and wouldn't come out? I hope if you ask real nice, your mom or dad will let you have a cookie after lunch today. Say a prayer with me. Lord Jesus, thanks for being our friend Thanks for being with us every day. Thanks for knowing what we need to do so we can follow you. 
so we can enter the kingdom of heaven where our Heavenly Father welcomes us. Thank you for making us a part of your family and helping us get rid of the things that get in the way. And all God's children said, Amen, and go get your cookie. <laughs>